Hello, everyone. Welcome to another Power Episode of Iron Panther Presents. Uh, today, Stacey, Chris, and I are going to give our predictions for Power Book 2, Season 1, Episode 2, or as Chris would put it, Power Season 7, Episode 2, which I, I do believe. I do believe. Um, all right. As we continue with this story, uh, looking at the trailer that we saw, there seems to be three major events going on in this episode. We got the funeral of Ghost, which I am at. Uh, you got Tasha uh, and her legal team trying to come up with their uh, defense strategy as she's on trial for being the leader of the international drug organization led by a person named Ghost. And then we have Tariq. Uh, Tariq seems to be getting closer to the Tejada family, uh, perhaps uh, getting indications that they may be involved in something illegal. And we'll see uh, how that turns out. Um, but let's begin with the uh, with the funeral, um, probably the main event. Um, Chris, let's start with you. What do you think, who, who thinks showing up to this shindig? Well, all right. I'll, obviously, you know, as 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 you can tell from the screenshot, you know, you got got Tate. You know, you know, kind of keeping up in appearances. Obviously, he was at one point was part of the uh, campaign before. You know, he wound up switching a little bit, but still, you know, he's he's running, so it just looks nice. You know, even though he wants to have nothing to do with ghosts, we all know. The audience knows at least. Uh, I would imagine, other than like his his kids, I would imagine you know, you're going to have the DA out in the wings. You know, it's going to be they're going to be out in the tree somewhere, just kind of watching. And I have a prediction. There's going to be another figure who you're not going to see. He's going to be out the wings, like putting his hands in his pocket, or like smoking a cigarette. And I, I just feel like it's going to be like his brother or some shit. I feel like they're going to go there. I just know. I don't know how I know. I just know. It's just going to be another guy that Tariq going to look up and say, who's that guy? And he just turns turns away and walks away. Don't even come up close to, to him. You know, I have a feeling that's going to be his brother. Hmm? Like they did Montavious and P. Valley. You just saw the guy in the hat walking around. Yep. The guy with yeah. the suit and yeah, hat. Exactly. Yeah, it's going to be like Montavious and it's going to be like every other, uh, you know, dramatic film that has a death in the beginning of the episode or movie. You know what I mean? It's, you know, so I, I, I just, you know, I, my, my question, though, is who, like like we said, you know, before we filmed, who are all these people? That's why I want to know. Who are these people? You know what I mean? Like, are they just, po are they politicians? Are they, you know, did they... Uh, are they affiliates of the, the Ghost Enterprise that we just happen to not see? You know what I mean? Who are these people? Who are these people showing up to this funeral? Yeah, so, especially the two, like, hope, that's the thing. See, like a military, an actual mil military funeral or whatnot, yes, you, you would have, like, certain people that, like, hold the casket. But typically speaking, if it's a regular civilian's funeral or whatnot, you usually have, like, family members or friends holding the casket. So... Shouldn't Tariq be one of the actual, like, you know, yeah, I, I don't know. I just, just an Thank opinion. You, Chris. Thank you, Chris. Why the hell is innocent Tariq not mourning the, the passing of his father and making no effort to carry this casket of, of, yeah. of his dad? I mean, I don't expect Tommy to make an appearance, clearly. <laughs> but, like, you know, Tommy, like, oops, I shouldn't be here. And then run away. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, you know, but, like, come that's on. A, like, that's a good point. That's a good yeah. point. Um, so I don't know what those two Negroes in the back and like the three, the three Negroes. The, three, the only yep. known Negro is yep, Tate. Just Tate. Yep. Who are the three unknown Negroes carrying James St. Patrick's body? There'll, the there'll be a name? line in there, be like, oh, you know, that's that's James's cousins from out the way or some shit like that. Same cousins that showed up at the house where Raina. House we full of people. people when Raina died, and we were like, oh, true shit. These people. That's a good point. Yes. So, Stacey, please, uh, what are your thoughts about the uh, ragtag of group come to see James St. Patrick going to the ground? Well, I see Joe Biden over here in the corner, <laughs> and that looks like Mama Kardashian over here. Mm -hmm. She needs to show back there. I don't know. I like. I have no idea who these people are. Biden showing up. Kamala Harris showing up. All the Democrats are showing up. Remember, he was the former Democratic nominee for lieutenant governor of the state of New York. Mm -hmm. And apparently this is a big political position that the entire Democratic Party is conspiring to put his wife in jail so no one knows his criminal history. So it's probably some political heavy hitters that Tate is trying to, is trying to bring on to this. Right. 
But let's say, yeah, who who you think is showing up, Stacey, to to the funeral? Who can show up? Everybody's dead or in jail. Or or running to California. So uh so if allegedly. Allegedly. So I uh I would uh, oh yeah, wait, so at the funeral, fact, uh Uncle Gabe is gonna be there um from uh episode 10 and season six. He's in the preview talking to Tariq, telling him the same thing Ghost told Tasha which is you get in this game, you end up j- dead or in jail, um, hence your father. Um, and we'll see how far that goes. Um, I think his introduction gives them the opportunity for Tariq to learn about his grandfather and his grandmother who ran off and therefore will soon have a, a son that will pop up in this shit. Um, and he may, be at the funer- he may be at the funeral too, as Chris pointed out. But I think the reason he's there is to give that give that opportunity to open the window for Ghost's random sibling that we never heard of. Um, also, uh, the the pastor uh, Tate's pastor who did Raina's wedding is is leading this procession. He's a uh, he's the the bishop guy. Like he he's he's the one giving the eulogy and shit. I'm like, what the? F- Do you realize this is the second time that Tate has capitalized off of a murder of a Saint Patrick? Like this is gonna be his thing, so like when Tommy kills Tariq, Actually, which will, huh? Third time. What's the third? It with Raina. Yeah. Remember he did that whole speech in front of Truth when they announced that he was dead. He did that whole. Yes. Thing. And, and now, now he's, he's at the funeral. And now he's at the funeral. Yep. Yep. So uh, again, when uh, Tommy kills Tariq and uh, he has his funeral, uh, Tate Tate will be there once again. Um, I I would not put it. I would not put it past them that somehow, somehow, I'm praying Tommy's there. Just in the shadows. Just in the shadows. Oh, you're he's like, he going to be in the tree with the cigarette. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. He's going to be that guy. Yeah. Hey, Kate's coming. Because, uh, you know, this man gave her some, some, somehow so much money she can ride off without her son. So her, her, that, that person's coming. Do you um, think give a... Uh, Tasha, some work really? No, no, no. She's too so too. it's funny you should bring that up because there was a scene of her in all black with a big ass hat on going to a funeral. Oh hell no! Who? Tasha. That shouldn't. That shouldn't happen. You so can't, you don't, they don't allow shit like that in real life. But like so, you're accused of killing someone. I don't think they allow that to happen. So that happened in real life. So there was a guy who was who was no no and like to your point like he he's a, he was arrested for killing his wife and he wanted to mm-hmm. go to his wife's funeral. They're like hell no. Yeah. But she's not on trial for murdering him anymore. She's on trial for being the lead of a drug organization. Well, even so, more, why would they let her out for? Funeral? I was going to say that just looks. That, it doesn't make sense. Somebody else be with that, for die. one. If we yeah. see a visual. Somebody's going to die, and it's not. She's going to go to their funeral. This, she's not coming to jail. That looks, that looks yeah, that looks no way. Yeah, <laughs> so that's weird. That's tacky. That's a it's a huge ass distraction. Come on now, like cause yeah, here's the deal. If she <laughs> is at the wedding, you I mean I said wedding. See, I I did a David. I I said wedding when it should be funeral. All right, if it is the funeral, if she does appear at the funeral, you know damn well there's gonna be like somebody saying like, "What's she doing here?" Get her out of here in the middle of the whole thing. It's like, get it, you know, or some shit. I'm just trying to imagine who's going to be the one screaming that. So exactly. Yeah. <laughs> who's, alive, who's alive to give a shit? The is brother. It, it, Ramona. It the- Ramona. No. Ramona. Why would she be there? What are you talking about? That was about to be her man. She's about oh, to Oh, you know what? Sorry, sorry. Said. Sorry. I was, you know what? Sorry. Ramona, I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of uh, Angela's Oz. sister. Sister. Pro- I'm Proz. Sorry. I mixed the two names up. My bad. Well, no, no, but let's let's go with that. Let's go with that, right? Mm-hmm. If if Paz is gonna come back, this is the moment she comes back. If not to be like this motherfucker, you know, you know, killed my sister. If not to be like, you know, you know, some kind of forgetting. I can see Paz showing up. I can see Paz showing up. Hmm. In, in in power fashion, Tommy showed up to Angie's uh, funeral. Yeah, but Tommy's a troll. I'm just Tommy's I'm, a troll. That's a little Paz ain't about that life. I don't. I don't know. Well, I'm talking about Tasha. I mean, to the Tasha piece. I'm saying Tasha showing up to be like, oh, my, my husband is gone. She was not officially, again, uh, you know, convicted of killing him. And now somehow that's not even relevant. So it's, I, she's so- going to a funeral. If it's not Ghost, it's, it's, it's her mama. Like some, yeah. Maybe somehow Estelle dies. But who's going to take care of Yaz if she dies? Maybe she's going to Tariq's funeral. 
Or it could be Yaz's or Tariq's funeral, yeah. <laughs> it's too soon, guys. It's like, this is going to happen this season. I'll put a stale before before we kill Tariq that fast. Hey, man, you say it's too soon for this. What did we say before first episode? It's like, there's no way they're going to show Effie in the first episode. There's no way they're going to show both Meth, Meth and or Mary J in the very first episode. They did all of that shit. Okay, you you <laughs> said the whole Mary J. Blige and, and, uh, and, and, um, and Method Man thing. I and you said, I, like, right? You was like, right? I can see what you're doing. I can go to the point. I'm like, Effie, I thought she was going to be around. Her being in the first episode shows she's done. They just wanted to, they just wanted to cross that off to be like, we, we recognize that Effie is a thing, but she's not going to be a yeah. thing anymore. Um, but the funeral is going to be a big thing. So, no, um, yeah, Stern, you, yeah you, I, I feel like you, you, you might be right with the whole Tasha thing. I'm just, all I'm saying is I'm not, okay. I, if, if, if I didn't see that scene that you saw that showed her all black and you tell me that is, is Pissing me off because most likely it probably will be at this funeral. I'm just saying, that's just that, that, like that. That makes zero sense. That hey, makes zero. I agree. Sense. I agree. But this is like, oh god, like guys, don't don't write that in there. Like, I know it makes better drama, like a, a like like a soap opera. But like, no, no, don't make it tacky now. I don't know, but you you're probably right. If you saw her in the black, and goddamn, this most likely is this funeral. Yeah, I'm thinking who else? Like you said, unless it's the mother or Tariq or Yaz, it, that that's the only thing that makes sense. Yeah, Stern is going to be there because somehow he's still attached to this family, trying to get these clubs. He's working way too hard to get these clubs, um, but that's there. But anyway, uh, let's. Move, I, I like to move on to uh, Tasha's defense strategy. Oh yeah. So apparently, according to the preview and the, the extended clip that we watched, Tasha is really trying to say. Her strategy is I'm putting this all on my husband, James St. Patrick, that he was, in fact, the drug dealer, murderer, um, son of a bitch, as she was trying to say, um, name is Ghost. Uh, Stacy, what are your thoughts on this, uh, this particular strategy? I think I thought it was a good strategy um, to be the battered wife and self-defense but obviously that's not gonna fly since yeah. they dropped those charges and now she's a queenpin <sighs> like we discussed before the whole issue with Tariq everything has been done for the benefit of Tariq so planning goes as this evil man screws up Tariq's money because the government can take everything that Ghost has ever made including Tariq's inheritance so he's going to be pretty much screwed if Ghost is planted as the murderous drug dealing person. That he truly was, but, you know, <laughs> details. Uh, Chris, what are your thoughts? I mean, no, I, I, I agree. It would have been a better strategy to uh, to kind of pin it on Ghost. Um, I mean, just I, I found it weird that they're now trying to label her as a queen pin. Um, I mean, yeah, like she she did a few cover ups, but like I would I can't wait to see at least the court scenes where they actually kind of prove or at least their evidence of why how you're saying she's the queen pin. Yes, she she sold some drugs. She she hid like one or two guns, you know, actually to help out, you know, for, for you know, because of Tariq and, and even Angie kind of helped out with that as well. But like I'm just kind of curious to see where this is going. You know what I mean? Like, when they announced, like, when they say, oh, you know, uh, Tasha Kilpatrick, you were under arrest for it. And I'm like, oh, I was like, okay, that's an interesting, that's pretty interesting that that's your charge. Uh, you know, but but we'll see. I, 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 don't, I, I don't know. It's too, it's too for, for me, it, it's, it's too early for me to kind of make a judgment on it because um, right now I'm just kind of like, what? But they'll clearly get to it, I, I'm assuming, so. So, uh, yeah, Stacey and I were, were talking about it, and this is really going back to season four when Ghost was arrested for killing Greg. Like, at that point, the district attorney's office was like, we're going we're gonna to go Rico, because every show, crime show, goes Rico at some point. And they were like, as Stacey and I talked about, if, if Ghost, if James St. Patrick is a drug dealer named Ghost, the money was gone in season four. That's why they locked up the business. That's why they took the washing folds and all that shit, Right. So if Tasha's convicted and she doesn't, you know, get the death penalty, which apparently that's what the needle means, Tariq's inheritance is gone. 
because every that means all the money that their family amassed was criminal money and they're gone. It like I said, if she wins the defense and Ghost is the is the criminal mastermind, the inheritance is gone. What they should do is put it all on Tommy. The only people left alive that know that any of them sold drugs is 2-Bit and, and um, Crystal Ball. Yeah, they're, yeah. Both of them work for Tommy. Tommy killed Angie. Tommy killed Maria. Tommy threatened to kill Ghost to Tasha and Tariq. Tasha, T- Tommy Proctor, went, don't forget and Pro- he killed I'm so, Pro- pissed. I'm so pissed off about that. But yeah, but you're right. It was a freaking look. You got an attorney. You key killed a freaking attorney. So I'm like, and, and Tariq and Tasha know all of this. The problem is, once they start to admit that they know all of this, then they're going to jail for being like, like uh, um, accessories like, after the fact. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. you help with all this shit. So, I would say, again, I'm not thinking it'd be like, it's like, why don't you say anything? Like, I was afraid I was next. I would be next. He threatened it. You know what I mean? They could, they could go that route. And that's Tommy. I mean, that's not, you know, that's pretty in line what Tommy would do. But um, yeah. I mean, so I mean, if so, again, if but, again, but you, you got. But you notice though with the, with Tommy though, but to go with that though, like if you blame Tommy, what evidence would you have other than here's because you know if anything, Tommy. He cleans his mess. He cleans up his mess. So, what evidence would you now have? Tommy's the only one with official um, criminal history. Fact. Okay. Tommy okay. was arrested with the drug dealer Lobos. It was only a technicality that he got off. So not you got those- him on drugs, but where you got him for for murder? What evidence? Had, had, do- Tasha can point them to the body of Holly. Because I'm, I'm. What? Does she know? The gun that Keisha threw in the. The war- oh yeah, in the in the river that the never river. came back, and we was like, "What happened with the gun?" So now they gonna go all the way back and get the gun. They they yeah. can't because only only Keisha only Keisha knew where she threw it. Like that would been- magically find it, just like they magically found Silver's body. They're oh. gonna magically find this gun. T- Tasha's gonna say, "I'm not sure. I mean, I don't know." <laughs> yeah, but it's I okay. think. <laughs> that if you check here in this abandoned lot, you might find the body body of, of Tommy's old girlfriend, Holly. You know, the one who's supposed to testify against him and went and, and disappeared? Where was her body? Where is her body? Yeah, she but, the thing, she, but, but, but I don't know. He, he, they'll have a better case of trying to prove the whole thing with Keisha. And they are going to magically oh. found that laptop Proctor hid with the recording. With the chip? Oh, with that little girl? I, I think well, I think I think that that's that's gonna be how Tommy beats his end. Like I I think that's gonna be in, in book five when when um yeah. when, the, when the old girl comes back to kill him. Um, uh, because that at least Lisa Marie is not done in this series. Like the character is not done. Anyway, I would say if if they really want to get away with this and keep the money, they gotta push it on Tommy. Because remember, Sachs don't even want to prosecute this. And and Steve Ott and and Mock, they don't give a shit about Tasha. They just want to make sure that Ghost's name is clean. So if they could if they can get the information to Sachs that we are going to work together to put this shit on Tommy, because Sachs, his first order of business should be should be putting out a, a warrant for Tommy's arrest for, for confessing to murdering Angie. Do you remember that? Remember that was a thing? Like Sack should be all on board with bringing Tommy to, to justice, yeah. and and this and this would bring all that together. Uh, I'm just saying. Yeah, so, yeah. What I, I feel- five look like with Tommy running from the feds. We that's a, see that's a problem for another series. And killing people. <laughs> yeah. We don't want to see Tommy ducking and hiding from the feds. We don't want to see that. I, I I think that would make a better story than them keep being in the. Uh, and the court office just trying, I mean, the, the, the court's just trying to, trying to make some shit up, some bullshit law and order shit up. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I don't know. But, uh, but I, I don't know. No, no, no. But you're, but you're right. Yes. It would, it would have to be tough. I, I would say with the whole Keisha angle, if anything, especially with the fact that they show Tasha, the body of Keisha, mm. he, she, what she could do is turn that around and be like, Oh, uh, Tommy killed Keisha. You know what I mean? If anything, other than I know I know what you're saying about Holly, but at least with Holly, there was a line was like, oh, Holly moved out of state or whatever, right? So bam. No. K- 
Keish, there's Keisha's was in his house that they just purchased. Mm. She could use that would be the the number one evidence that they use. Mm. Even it, it, I would say that's even better evidence than 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 Andrew, which is which would be ironic because that is the one person who he didn't kill. But that would be the one evidence that they could po- kind of pin on him. You see what I'm saying? That's classic power. That would be <laughs> yeah. No, I'm I'm dead serious. Like no, you're, I mean, you're absolutely right. He killed all these people, but it'll be the one who he didn't kill would be the the more relevant evidence. Yeah. He's in, she was in your house. Oh, where was the weapon? You guys were fighting that this, that, you know, all this other shit. You they, know what I mean? They said it would, because he was at the jury store buying the ring. That yeah. They it on him. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to now have to try to find that receipt to prove that. You know, Blunt. Cash is going to want to have to talk. Cash was there. Cash was there. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I mean, he, he had an alibi. I mean, she was, he was with her son the entire time. I mean, that would be good, but I mean, you know, Cash was there. Um, so, I mean, that, that's, that's, that's going to be a problem. But uh, let, let's talk about Proctor real quick in the sense of how is Counselor Davis even thinking about representing a St. Patrick when their last defense attorney got murdered in their house? Like, mm-hmm. I'd move on. Social media be damned. I'm like, I don't care what, what social media pressure Tariq put me under. Like, Proctor got murdered. Like, I'm like, I'm, I'm not fucking with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, and that needs, to be a, that needs to be recognized, that Proctor existed. Like, and this just same way same thing so okay let's let's move on to uh real quick so Tariq um going to the Tejada house for Sunday dinner I guess uh Zeke is bringing him by uh he's sitting next to Diana who wants to give him the draws that's gonna happen um apparently uh a guy named Frank uh comes in and wants to talk to Monet Batista I know Sergeant Batista hey welcome back Dexter alum have seen him since Dexter I was like, he's like, he, he looking good. He's looking good. And uh, apparently, uh, uh, Lorenzo, uh, uh, Monet's husband, uh, told him to stop by and talk about some business, um, which I'm sure gives Tariq the idea that maybe the, and after what happened last time, there may be something, you know, nefarious going on in this family, um, causing Cain to tell Tariq, uh, keep your mouth shut. And then... Monet wants to look into Tariq St. Patrick because she don't know who the fuck he is or his family lineage, which is some bullshit. All right, so what are your thoughts? Like, how how is a uh, how's this going to unravel? Like, oh, where where do you think this is going? The dinner scene, probably if, if, not nothing. This episode, at least, I don't think. All right. Yeah. Well, Monet is correct. Tariq can't be trusted. And um, I was thinking maybe their family may be arms dealers, like in drug, not drug running, but gun running. Because if they're like big time drug dealers, why they don't know who the hell a ghost is? So, so Stacey and I were talking about this, right? These are drug dealers in Queens. Ghost ran Queens. So let's say, again, let's say season one, season two. Oh, no- and then and Tommy. And Tommy. And who get and they gave it to the RSKs who ran Queens, at least the black side of it or whatever, right? So let's say no one on the street knew that Ghost had a real name or he had a family. All right, let's just go with that. Well, once he got on TV, once he became a political figure, as Tommy told him, stay your ass off TV. Because the people start asking questions like who you are. So if Monet is watching TV. And and his and his funeral is a local state, at least citywide, if not statewide affair. Monet should be like, isn't that ghost? His name was James St. Patrick? And his family is this little motherfucker sitting at my table? Like, this needs to come together. Like, she, she at the minimum, she needs to be like, hey, I'm sure she's talking to the cop that we saw last week when she's asking, look into him. She needs to say, I need to know, he's the son of ghost. And I need to know what's up with him. Like, we need to know that she already figured out he has drug in his family. Like, like he knows how to move the business or something. For her to be like, I have no idea who you are, son, but you want to date my daughter, and I'm not, I'm not okay with that. No. No. It, it, needs to, it needs to come up to something. Like, they need to be like, I know, I know who your dad was. I know who can. Maybe the Tejada family was the one that killed his dad. Who's dad? Ghost is dead. Like, depending how long their, their criminal family has been in the neighborhood, 
maybe they're the ones because uh, Courtney Kemp said it wasn't Kanan and Breeze that killed his dad. So maybe, I mean, maybe it was these guys. Hmm. You know, depending. I mean, depending how well connected they want this stuff to be. Uh, so that's thought. Uh, we also saw a scene of Tariq ca- uh, collect- uh, cashing that money because somehow he's still making money off the product that he stole from Effie um, and running through the strippers. So I'm like, what does he need Monet for? Because that's going to happen eventually. Yeah, I think I missed that part of the, 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 the preview. So you, you, you had to... How you, much you drugs to- did he get? Effie broke ass had this much drugs sitting in her living room that she gave Tariq. Mm-hmm. That he living off of. That was, that was her Yale money. <laughs> so. She took out a student loan to get some... Uh, she took out a hell of a student loan. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I don't... This business model don't make sense to me. Like, if Effie don't chase him down for her cut of that money, she will be murdered. Like, she, like his, her, her supplier is going to be like, what the fuck happened to my money? You're going to be like, well, I gave it to my ex-boyfriend because I got him kicked out of school. I hope you understand. No, I don't. Like, that's- Unless her family is the supplier, right? That's Who, what Trump Who's her family? Exactly. But then, I mean, but then she can't afford books, though? I mean, I mean you know, book- you're right. Scratch that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but that could just be a throw <laughs> line for you to forget. Just like, just like uh, the whole thing with Tariq's friend being like, hey, I'm broke. And then all of a sudden, hey, my family owns a, the gyms and shit. It right. could just be like something they just want you to forget, Stacey. They hope that you don't remember that shit. So then five episodes later, it's like, you know, I own Queens. My family owns Queens. Like, <laughs> or some shit yeah. like that. You know what I mean? Just like. <laughs> hey, hey, check it out. I bet you, back to the funeral, bet, bet somehow uh, Brayden is like, hey, dude, uh, we took over the, the Queen's Child Project because, you know, my dad just wants to do a little bit for the, for the community because he heard about your plight. Um, and he's going to rebuild that. For, I was like, what? I really hope not. I really hope not. That Queen's Child Project may get built. I was tired of hearing about that shit. Like, it, it's, at some level, Ghost got murdered for it because once he took the money, Tasha was like, this boy got to go because he's taking my money. But I need to I need to make a daycare so I can move some drugs. So anyway, <laughs> real quick, real quick, if they didn't have enough evidence in season four to make Ghost a drug dealer, they have even less evidence to make Tasha a drug dealer. Okay, short yeah. of the, it's ridiculous. Like, what do they got? She she somewhat handled the money. She somewhat handled the money. Exactly. But that's like, gonna make some partners. Can- yeah, yeah, she like hid stuff away. Really, I mean, that was the thing. She was great at hiding things. It was all That's financial. Yeah, yeah. She wasn't. She wasn't moving no weight. You know what I'm saying? She wasn't. You know, dropping bodies. That was Ghost and Tommy. You know. Mm-hmm. So, what the fuck? I mean, this this is a stupid storyline. Again, let's just start making up some shit. And again, everybody's dead. Lobos is dead. Ruiz is dead. Fucking Jason is dead. I damn Ghost by himself killed the entire network in one day, just so he could run off with Angie. And ran into Milan, who is also dead. Fuck. Hey, you know where they all buried at? Hey, hey, the airport. They're going back to the airport. That's what I want. What's that chick that um Milan's girlfriend or whoever she Oh was? yeah, that's that that uh I know what you're talking about. The one who showed up to the dinner party? That one? Mm-hmm. She probably did too. Bring her- I mean she they can bring her back, um, uh, but no, no, she was she was there when Jason almost killed Tommy. She was there for that, but she I think she's the one that saved Tommy from being murdered. Um, but they all dead, bro. I mean, like again, this is probably the last time we see two bit because you know oh, he right. broke somebody, somebody, Cantos, somebody's gonna show up and they're gonna be like, Yes, James was this awful person. And they're gonna be like, see, see. Yeah. Be like Uncle Uncle uh uh, uh was it like the same way they brought Maria back for no damn reason. Just they to murder her. Some random ass cast member and they're gonna be like, Yep, remember him? Yep. Mm-hmm. What? Like ain't nobody left. Ghost and Tommy have killed everyone. Except for two bit and, and, and Crystal Ball. Crystal Ball and he's like in federal like prison. Like like he he in some serious shit. So you no know, snitch to get time off. That's, what, That's what I'm saying. But he can only snitch on Tommy. He never met Ghost, and certainly not Tasha. I mean, you know what I'm saying? The the he government knows trying who to Ghost is? Huh? He knows who's Ghost. He is. never worked with. I mean, that's hearsay. 
He's never been at no deals. That was all Tommy. Even when the show started, Tommy was the street dude. Ghost was, was the club dude. Tasha would be all right. This this storyline is dumb as shit. Like, she will be all right. Okay? She might be out. Yeah. Yeah, no, you're right. Go ahead. She might be out by the end of this season. Like, why are they doing this dumb shit? Like, Dude, it, it, I, I, I told you in that first episode, I, it looked like at first she was about to be out the first episode. My fault, man. My you know, fault. You know, like, so, yeah, I was like, oh, my God. Are they? If Tasha is still in prison by the end of this season, they have no storyline. That's what they're doing. Like, if they stretch it out even that far, they got nothing else. And they're like, we just got to ride this out until Tommy comes and kills everybody. But that's going to happen, too. So there you go. Anyway, um, we got to see where it goes. Uh, Tariq somehow is going to be pulling that money down. Um, whatever. Uh, we might see the stripper again. I want Effie to come back a couple more times. That'd be nice. Um, I need because Tasha, or, or I don't. I don't know if it's uh, what, what's the name. What's the actress name? Please, Tasha. Wh- wh- yo, I need her to do different facial expressions when she knows she's lying. <laughs> like when someone asks her a question, she goes like, "I don't know what you're talking about." You, yo, do not, yo. I do not want to play poker with you. <laughs> Actually, you know, I take it back. I do. I know, you know, you exactly. know, but like, yo, like, what the hell, like. Like even in that clip we just saw with with, with he, he, you know her and Meth, and like actually like I'm asking some questions. I'm like, yo, they, she doing a practice run, and she's like, well, I don't, what's about Tommy? He's like, you mean pulling drugs with Tommy and and James? Like, bruh. You know what they were trying to do? You remember that time when Proctor was practicing with with Ghost, and he's like, would you ever kill someone? And his response was, I would never kill anyone in law enforcement. You mean you would never kill anyone, right? He was like, oh, my bad. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, yes. That's what I meant. Law enforcement. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, no one. I would never shoot anyone. I don't know what you mean. Um, I have standards. You know, I kill people yeah, yeah. Who, are, who need to yeah. be murdered. Um, oh, man. So that, that was pretty funny. That was. I mean, so she, I mean, she burned the shirt. Anyway, the point is, this is a dumbass storyline, and it shouldn't take this long. <laughs> also, let's talk about a plot hole real quick. Uh, if you're still watching, I hope you are. Um, this bullshit that Tasha was too short to kill Ghost because the murderer had to be 5'11 to 6'1. I looked it up on the internet. Tasha is five foot, so agreed. She's way too short. You know who else is too short? Tariq. Tariq is only 5'8. So apparently, according to the internet, and you look at him, he ain't no Tommy size at, in no way, okay? So he's not even tall enough. Exactly. He's not even tall enough to commit the murder he committed. Well, no, That's what these writers want you to believe. No, no, no. Stacy said he got on some stilts. Like, he did some, like, print shit. Like, he wore some Prince high he heels. Or he got on a stool. Or he, like, jumped. Or, or, like, he was trying to, like, jump on whatever and try to punch. But he, like, pulled the trigger instead. So he jumped up in the air, like, uh, and, like, just shot as he was jumping up in the air. Some shit. That's the only thing I could think of. You know what I mean? But the thing is, but we saw how he shot, shot his father. steps. I know, right? But we saw how he shot his father, right? So clearly, the writers should have did better to realize that your forensic evidence don't make any damn sense because even Tariq don't, is, not, is, is ruled out of the murder he did. So um, let's not do that. Um, also, Tommy's the only one that could testify that Tariq was there and likely killed Ghost because he saw Tariq as Ghost was bleeding to death in his arms. So the last person they need on the stand is Tommy. Okay. Yes, Tommy won't talk. Tom, Tom, he ain't Tommy snitching. Won't talk. He ain't he snitching. Snitch. Yeah. No, he he'll kill him first, though. He will not. He won't snitch. But uh, I'm like, but I'm just saying, I'm like, and again, Tariq didn't tell Tasha that Tommy was there. They still haven't had that conversation. Yeah. Um, so it's, it, it's going to be interesting if Tommy's even in, in this series at all. But this will be the episode. If he's ever going to be in the episode, Blanca's supposed to be coming back. I heard that. I was going back and forth with a commenter about that. Ramon Scales said uh, Blanca's coming back. That is the stupidest thing they could do right now. She was so annoying. I'm sorry. I know there's like she got some fans, but for one, like her nasally voice alone like annoyed me for one. But like just but everything she did, I, I don't why like why why is she coming back with with all that all that horrible shit that just happened that happened to her this past season. So it's I don't know why, but like if they bring her back, they're opening the door to Ray Ray, and once again. Yeah. Why has Tariq not been arrested for a murder that she says she knows he did? That brings up Ray Ray. That brings up Keisha, which Tasha did. 
I'm like, if Blanca comes back, both of the St. Patrick's should be in jail, okay, by the end of that episode. Or these writers are not being consistent with their own story. Like, that's it, man. I'm like, I'm just, leave her alone, okay? Like, just move forward with this dumbass storyline that Tasha somehow is going to get, is going to be a, a convicted for a crime that they couldn't even get the guy who actually did it on. Yeah. Uh, I, I feel like I understand. I feel like I understand what the, the person that might get is Ghost Brothers. Like, hey, hey we got last minute, uh, with uh witnesses that, oh, and then you know they're gonna be like, you know Tasha uh Method gonna be like we didn't hear about this like we're like what so no one told him like who and then see a man walk up and say yeah I'm you you want to get brother. crazy with it what's up Jabari is his brother oh god Jabari who the professor I'll be so pissed Kara Kara like, dad's ex ex lover who will be mad when she starts sleeping with Tariq I'm telling you. That would be all, oh, dude. I would lose my shit. I would be like, they did not just do this. How many oh, other black men got introduced to this show? You don't know who they are. Hmm? Zeke. Oh, yeah. Nah, he's yeah, too young. That would be like, his son. Son. like the same, the same <laughs> dude that, that tried to like say, try to try to say, hey, nah, this kid, this kid like another nigga, like blah, 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 blah. Like, and no. you know why? Because his brother got all the, he knows who his brother is. He know what his brother did, and he don't want to see his son come bet. And then he literally like did a 180 after that. That's what I'm saying. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. No, I'm. No, no. Here's the deal. Yes, I know what Stars is about. You know what I mean? I'm just saying, it would. It's just stupid. It's just, no, I'm not denying. Again, there's been a, plenty of stupid ideas where we were like, look, they could possibly go this route, and they've gone that route. But damn, that is like dumb. Just, just get a brand new nigga. We're, we're just, just, you know what I mean? Yeah. Get, Lorenzo. Get, what, what was that guy's the last, last Lorenzo? I think it was. You know, yeah, get him. You know what I mean? Like mother's it'll be, it'll be a mother's great look for him be because he's between this and and the boys that he's doing right now, just be great. You know that he, you know, do two series at once. But nah, I I don't know that that I would not put put it past stars to do some shit like that. But bro, I'm I'm you heard it first. If they do that shit, I'm I'm throwing the damn remote on the ground. <laughs> And then, so when we're doing, so literally the next time we're filming, the first question that should be out your mouth is, how's your floor? Because you, I you said you were remote. You, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, seriously, man. I will. I'll be so freaking annoyed. I'll be so annoyed. So we got, so we, we got it. Cause like when, when Teresi was introduced and he said, who's that, who's that Tommy? I was like, that's Tommy's dad. Like, I was like, it's just something. I was like, it's too easy, man. It's too easy. And like, and that be damned. That was his dad. So um, I figured you just said that because it was like that's not that many white people in the show. Yeah. Also, so. it ain't that hard to narrow <laughs> the shit down to be like, well, uh, only, only two more, <laughs> no, one more white person in the show. Anyway, uh, we'll see what happens Sunday. Uh, we'll be happy to watch it. I, again, I believe, either way, somehow Ghost's brother will be at this funeral. They got to lay the groundwork. This is the perfect time to lay the groundwork. With Uncle Gabe there, funeral there. They got to lay the groundwork. Tree, though, that's the question. Will hmm? it be a tree? Oh will yeah, yeah. Like a yeah, is he going to be the, the, the mysterious figure in the back? Or are you still thinking it's Tommy? I still say it's Tommy. I, I want it to be Tommy. You know what I'm saying? So like, you I'm, think both of them are going to be at the funeral, maybe? That'd be wild. Maybe, maybe they're standing next to each other, and, you, and you're so focused on Tommy, you don't see the black dude next to him. That, that actually, I'd say, that, you know what? That would be overkill. They have both of them. You have to have only one mysterious character. Like, one, like, surprise, motherfucker. Like, like only one. You know what I mean? You're you going to have two? So, okay, okay, Tommy doesn't show up to the funeral. He comes to the grave site. Like, he ain't stupid enough to show up to the funeral. He will be arrested, you know what I'm saying? But, like, if he's, like, if he comes later, like, just to talk to him like he did with Holly, like, that would be something. Like, at the end of the episode. Be like, post credit scene or some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, I would, I would take that. I would take that to be, like, you know, I'm sorry. You know, I'm sorry. I can't believe this bullshit. And he's, like, I'm going to kill this motherfucker. Like, like I'm, I'm going to avenge you because now I'm up, I'm up for, for, for your murder. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, once, I mean, that would be interesting. That'd be interesting at some point. I would like to see that. Um, or, you know, the, just look for a mysterious black man, not one of these two carrying, you know, Ghost's body. Like, look for somebody else in the thing. Um, and, and again, maybe Kamala's there. Obama could have showed up. We don't know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Michelle. Anyway, okay, guys. Uh, if the you're new Obama to the channel. Obama from the half and a half nuts. Huh? <laughs> the Obama from the half and a half yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They ain't got no jobs. Uh, there's, there's a, there's a light-skinned dude in the half and a half nuts. It's like the, the fake Obama. And like we're like, he can show up because Tyler oh. Perry does that. 
All right. right. Um, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, please stay with us uh, for the uh, official review of episode two. We're going to be there. I'm sure we're going to have some fun. As always, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Like the video, comment on the video, share the video. Who do you think is going to pop up at this funeral? Is somebody going to jump in the casket? Someone always jumps in the casket at a black funeral. Is there yeah. going to be a repass? There's going to have to be a repass. Yaz is going to jump in. The gas is gonna, that girl got three lines. Let's not, let's not, not put enough pressure on her. Okay, let's. Let's see what she says. All she's doing is jumping in the casket. That's, that's all she's she doing. Cry and kick her legs. See, that's right. Somebody's jumping in the casket. It's gonna be a repass. Somebody's gonna be all up I, in. Uh, I, it, huh? If, if Tasha shows up at the funeral, she could she could play that role. Like, oh, I love like like saying I couldn't kill ghosts. Like, ah, so so her, you know, as as a deputy who's holding gun, like, hey, hey, get off, get off that casket. Hey, I'll take you back in. Hey, Kate does it. She on she high on cocaine. She missing the son that, that she always loved or some bullshit, and she oh, jumps God. in there. <laughs> uh, okay. we, need, we need a white person, like, showing out. That's what I'm saying. This is a black show. We can't have black people do it. We need a white person to show out for no reason. Okay. So that, 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 comes <laughs> oh, Tommy comes back. He's like, I'm going to kill this bitch. But she jumped in the casket. What about me, mama? What about me? Oh, <laughs> anyway, thank you guys very much for watching, and we will see you on Sunday. Yes.